fancy yourself a triathlete, you've got about a month to prepare for NorCal's great race. And uh, who's hopefully showing us all the stamina it takes, but our very own Molly Real, <laughs> one leg uh, on leg two of her journey. You look the part. I'm buying everything yes. you're selling. Thank you. Thank you. I feel the part. Uh, I will tell you, though, I just got, I got on the bike and I said, you know how I know I haven't ridden a bike in a while is I tried to brake with my legs instead of with my hands. So it's been a bit, but <laughs> as they say, it's like riding a bike, of course. Okay, so the Great American Triathlon is back July 16th, and uh, Jeff here has been doing this race for more than 30 years. You are a cyclist. This is the only triathlon you choose to do. What makes it so special? Well, it's the camaraderie, it's the community, it's the people. And over the course of the 30 years, you get to know people. They're your situational friends for the great race, yeah. or now the Great American Triathlon. Exactly. Of course, it used to be Epi's Great Race, now the Great American Triathlon. And talk about the stretch of the cycling part, too. Well, it's a 12-mile stretch, so for most cyclists, that's, that's not too long. And for people who are thinking about it, and they're going to get a good team together, you still have plenty of time to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not grueling. But for those who are competitive, it's very aggressive. Yeah. And of course, okay, so you could be an iron person, you could do all three legs by yourself, or you could be part of a relay. So if cycling is what you like to do, then you can just do the cycling too. Do you have any advice for people who want to come out and try it? Well, for the most part, if you can ride a bike and you have a helmet and you have the equipment, the best thing to do is make sure that you're training properly, you hydrate properly, and on the trail, be smart. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and here to talk a little bit about training is Tim with Rancho Endurance Sports. So you are a triathlon coach. What would your best advice be for folks who want to start training for this triathlon? This is a unique triathlon because it's got a run and then a bike and then the kayak afterwards. So not it wouldn't be normally just coming out here and just riding your bike more often, but you want to get used to what it feels like to ride your bike after you've run. So if you're going to train for it, do a little run for, uh, for fir first and then jump on your bike and go for a little bike ride. And if you have the opportunity, jump on your bike and then real quick like transition over a paddle and get your body used to that. Yeah, you want to make sure you can get on your bike and ride 12 miles while your body is a little bit fatigued. Now, Tim, you did say something cool about this race, too, is that it is for everyone. It's 12 miles, which is relatively not a big distance for biking. Uh, so you have a lot of cool bikes here from your shop. But you said if you have any kind of bike, you can participate. Absolutely. The, the bike ride, it's, it's about 12, 13 miles. So you're going to have people that are doing it 30 minutes, and you're going to also have people that are going to take an hour. You can come out here and do it on a beach cruiser with flat pedals, or you can jump on something <laughs> over here like a $14,000 triathlon bike. And it just depends upon how dedicated you are to the sport. A beach cruiser with flat tires, that is that is an endurance sport on its own. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Wouldn't recommend. Okay, so you've picked out this this beauty for me to uh, test drive. Now I do know how to brake. Uh, it's with the hands. Yeah, with your hands. With my hands, right. yes. Good, good to know in case I should brake. So, hey, Jeff, hey, team, we're going to ride over here. Uh, we're going to go hand off our chip and uh, in the next hour we'll talk about the paddle part yes we'll be kayaking and paddle boarding and we'll send it back to you as we ride away in the distance all right getting ready for the Hopefully third don't leg. Grab that bike. Don't grab that bike. <laughs> yeah. remember the brakes are on the handles <laughs> and here she goes she's about to pass off the chip Whee! and hopefully not end up in the lake i know <laughs> you can't look like she's going to the lake ah, yay! yeah there you go Woohoo! Hands off. <laughs>